So this is it. In November 2009, Nick and I flew out to Lagomero for the start of the Atlantic Ocean rowing race. The next couple of weeks was all about getting patients ready for scrutinisation, preparing her and ourselves for the start of the race. In the evenings, we spent the time getting to know the other crews. Well, we've had the moon out every night and it's been clear to us. We've, uh, we've had um, the very nice sunsets and, and, and very nice um, nights with the moon out. Um, and one of the nights I had um, a pod of dolphins uh, come swimming on the boat for about five, ten minutes. Wow. Um, and, uh, and they were talking to us, um, which was absolutely fantastic. I mean, I think it's uh, once in a lifetime um, seeing, seeing, them, seeing them and hearing them. Physically, certainly, um, to begin with, uh, the first, uh, the last five days coming, coming south, um, we've been having to work a lot harder to make any progress. And we, whereas a few weeks ago we were making 50, 60 miles a day, uh, the last uh, five, six days we've literally only been making 30 to 40 miles a day. The sea was like a uh, doldrum, it's completely flat, very, very still, very quiet, um, and we've been rowing every single mile, had no assistance from the wind or swell like we usually do, so it's been incredibly tough. Okay, and what songs are you listening to at the moment then on your iPod to keep you going? So a few of the most popular songs have been um, uh, uh, the Rocky theme tune, uh, Eye of the Tiger, that's a popular one. Um, we've, uh, we've had, yeah, we've had, um, I don't know who, uh, what, what's the guy's name? Um, get, someone Getter. David, uh, David Getter, Getter. Eric Getter. David, David, David Getter. David Getter, uh, sexy chick. Um, Simply because we haven't seen any for, for weeks and weeks and weeks. Yes, I can see you, see you, see you. Cause every girl here wanna be a be a Oh, she's a diva, diva, diva. I feel the same and I wanna meet her, meet her, meet her. They say she low down. It's just a room and I don't believe her, believe her, believe her. They say she needs to slow down. The we we're, we're trying to nap in uh, a cabin which is probably around 30 degrees so um yeah it it, it does drive you a little bit mad when you can't you can't get to can't get to sleep because uh you need it um, you really do we were we so we were so close on saturday you know you you were thinking we were thinking right three more nights on the boat and we're we're in and then as the weather developed um, we thought okay this is only a 24 hour um stop and then it became a 48 hour stop, and then it became a bit of a storm and uh, much heavier weather. Um, we thought, okay, the storm will blow through, um, and it hasn't. 
And uh, you keep saying to yourself when you wake up, okay, this is it, the last three days on the boat. And um, we've had the last three days on the boat for the last five days. So, uh, you know, it's you, almost at a point now where um, there's just no point thinking about it. It just leaves you cold. Um, and unfortunately, it's got to the point where we just want to get off the boat. Um, we just want to finish. Um, but more importantly, we're, we're running out of food. We run out of food. Um, we run out of food Saturday morning. Uh, we'll be living off uh, energy drinks, sachets, and snicker bars, um, pretty much, um, for however much time afterwards. We've been knocking out 50, 60 mile days over the last three, four days. Um, we're now down to about 270 to the finish. Uh, so hopefully sometime uh, late Wednesday we'll be uh, we'll be rocking up into Antigua, into English Harbour. Uh, the party starts there. By the time we finish, we'll have done over 3,000 miles um, of rowing, um, which is um, yeah, pretty epic. I have no doubt within a few hours we'll be in a bar somewhere sipping on a couple of beers. Rowing into English Harbour was an amazing experience itself. The support we had from family and friends along the way was fantastic. This continued when both our parents came to escort us for the final leg into the dockyard. The harbour was a perfect amphitheatre for the finish, with the sound of horns and clapsings adding to the atmosphere.